Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this video today about the Jared Brightigan murder. Our heart goes out to all of the Brightigan family and especially the children. And I just wanted to mention that there is a GoFundMe for this case and I'm going to post that in the comments and in the bio. I just wanted to do a short video today, something that a lot of the people who are closely following this case have realized that there could be one of the conspirators driving the blue Ford F-150 truck while Henry Tenen was on foot. And I just wanted to show you some of the timeline. And while I don't want to confuse any of the facts, I just wanted to mention that these are roads that I'm very familiar with. Uh, living close to Jacksonville Beach. So I'm going to show you also the cul-de-sac that the truck was waiting in while Jared Brightigan was on his date night with his kids the night of. So these documents are from the application for wire intercepts. Let's jump to the day of the actual crime. So we saw Henry Tennant's F-150 truck on surveillance, and that is how Henry Tennant was actually uh, arrested because this was, this was his F-150 truck that was blue on all of the surveillance video. It was all over the news here. And after the actual crime at the crime scene on Sanctuary, at 7.53 p.m., on Grand Boulevard, approximately one minute after the actual crime, the suspect truck traveled eastbound on Jacksonville Drive. And what is interesting about this, that at 7.56 p.m., um, approximately four minutes after the crime, the unidentified black male was observed walking northbound to the intersection of Jacksonville Drive and Grand Boulevard, an individual was wearing dark colored pants. So that tells me that the vehicle and Henry Tennant were separated. So at 8 p.m. Uh, on 1600 Shutter Avenue, the suspect truck traveled westbound on Shutter Avenue. Once the suspect truck reached the cul-de-sac, it immediately turned around and traveled eastbound and left the frame 0.2 miles from Gardiner and Fernandez residence. The truck and the mail believed to be tenant were separated after the homicide. So this to me proves something very interesting that there was another person driving Henry Tennant's truck at 8 PM. So then at 813 on South beach parkway, and Riptide Boulevard, the male, believed to be Tenen, walked northbound on South Beach Parkway. This location is approximately 0.46 miles from the intersection of Jacksonville and Grand Boulevard. We see Henry Tenen here on foot. That's proof that he's not driving the truck. Meanwhile, the truck was going back to the cul-de-sac while Tenen, I believe, this is my speculation, that Tenen walked all the way on South Beach Parkway to the cul-de-sac. It would probably take him about an hour and that seems to match up maybe half an hour if he's really booking it. And I'm not sure anyone noticed him. I also wanted to mention that whoever was driving the suspect truck eastbound on Shedder Avenue towards South Beach Parkway could have picked up Henry Tennant at some point on South Beach Parkway. There are still a few questions in my mind about the length of South Beach Parkway is about four miles from the crime scene to the cul-de-sac. It is possible for Henry to walk. I also wanted to mention that about 10 minutes after the murder, the truck was at Shedder Avenue and the cul-de-sac. So it also said that the truck, the suspect truck had traveled eastbound on Shutter Avenue towards South Beach Parkway 
and then they could have picked Henry Tenen up as he was walking. I just wanted to tell you all that all of these suspects' phones were in airplane mode, and Henry Tenen had two phones, and they were in airplane mode. And after about 7.50 p.m., and then they turned their phones back on. All of them turned their phones back on around 9 or 10 p.m. Whoever was driving the blue F-150, all of their phones were powered off, and it looks pretty suspicious, but let's just hope that these conspirators do the right thing and tell the truth of what happened and more videos to come, more evidence about Shanna Gardner and... We just hope that this trial moves along swiftly and that there will be justice for the Brightigans and for the kids and that they can reunite with their siblings. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing.